So I've been working on my bus, that 1947 retired Greyhound that we have. The last trip that we took it on, we came back and right when we pulled in, it had a, a coolant leak. The coolant was relatively full. It was like maybe a half inch down on the tank, but there was steam coming off the back of the engine. Uh, and I thought for sure the hose was wet on the back side here. So I thought it was that hose that was leaking. I, the thermostat had not been opening properly. I could tell by the way I was driving it. It never overheated. I watched the temperature, but it was running warmer than it should have. Uh, so I went through and went ahead and ordered a new thermostat. We're gonna replace these radiator hoses on the back side. Uh, and then meantime, we're gonna put a, we were gonna put a new fan on it. A few years ago, I had my fan come off and went into my old radiator and that, that messed it all up. And I had a replacement fan that was from an 8V71. I just cut it shorter. Uh, I used a Sawzall to cut the ends of the larger fan off so it would fit in there and use that for years. Well, now I was able to find a, a new plastic fan. This is a left-hand rotation fan, so it's a little harder to find. Uh, ordered a new one, put the new fan on, got it back together, pulled it out of the shop. It doesn't leak coolant when it's idling, but when you rev it up, man, does that coolant squirt right out of it. It's crazy. So we're going to go, we got to remove this, the intake or the, <laughs> the water manifold on the back of the engine it needs to come off. It's the gasket between the head, <coughs> excuse me, and the manifold that's leaking. So I made my rear engine access accessible down under there and some insulation and stuff that seals it up. So what we need to get to is that manifold right there. We got all the nuts off. We just got to get it separated. So I should hope to be able to get just like a little chisel in there and start getting it to free up. But when it's aluminum, those studs are steel. I see there's two washers on there still on that one. I'm gonna get those washers off. That'll help free it up a little too. And one of the studs came out on that last one there on the end. One more over. So hopefully I can get one end, <coughs> excuse me, one end up and get <coughs> the other end will, it'll start freeing it up. Don't break it. <laughs> Quite the bot. I should probably take the sensors off.
I don't want to remove too much material on there, but that should be enough to make a good seal everywhere. These are the gaskets that go underneath of it. So I've got these ready to go. The bottom. Yeah, I worked so hard to get it all back together. I need to get it out of the shop here. We had the next bus to come in the shop was already here. So I got up real early in the morning, Monday morning, got everything put back together and it was about 11 o'clock in the morning before I got them pulled out. Okay, we're going to fire it up here and check for coolant leaks on it. The uh, I don't have the wires for my uh, temperature gauge hooked up yet. I'm going to get to put a connector on there for those. But we're going to fire it up. We're going to rev it up, make sure it's not leaking coolant. It's been parked out here since I put coolant in it last night, and there's no drips underneath of it for coolant. But we're going to do it when it's revved up. So, hand it from the Kelly. I'll start the bus. I'll come back here. I'll rev it up back here. Ready? I didn't even take it all the way up to the governor there. There's no leaks on the coolant. That's awesome. 
Uh, that was a lot of work. Uh, that governor's turned up to 20, uh, 2650. <laughs> so it's way, way up there. But uh, it, it sounds so good. I love the sound in Lenny. But uh, we'll get him back on the road here for another trip coming up real soon. Keep an eye out for it. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. If they can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. you know well he's got a long hard ride in on Lenny the silver sides get that bus grease monkey on the road well he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound it's that bus grease monkey on the road he travels all around and he's coming to your town get that bus grease monkey down the road that bus grease monkey do his thing 30 years behind that barn cause it don't run worth a darn watch that bus grease monkey make it sing he knows in detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out it's that bus grease monkey don't you know saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides it's that bus grease monkey don't you know now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lenny the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, if you made it to the end of this, we appreciate that. That means you're definitely a super fan of ours. Uh, if you saw the video yesterday that we did, the bus repair bingo, we're going to continue to do that. We're going to mix it up. Uh, some people suggested that middle square make that oil leaks. That'll make it a little harder. I never thought I would get a bus bingo on the first attempt of using this. So I was completely shocked that we did. 
Uh, so I, I didn't expect that, but we're gonna make it a little bit harder and we're gonna continue to do it. We'll, con we'll mix up the order of things and we'll change some of them here and there. But I just think it's kind of interesting way for us to keep you involved in the video and, and interact with it a little bit as we go. But uh, th thanks for watching us, we really appreciate it.